just another little thing real quick while we're sitting here. I'm letting her chew on that stick. I'm gonna touch her all over. I'm just kinda kinda rub her ears. Most dogs like that. Touch her on the back. Touch her on the leg. I'm gonna pick that leg up. So something that I do for my dogs is this because I have um I have two senior dogs. And then I have two dogs that have also had their ACL replaced. And a lot of the times after we work out, good girl, I help them stretch. And I do that by picking their legs up, manually moving them, and helping them really stretch those muscles because dogs don't understand how to do yoga. I'm going to do the same thing on this side. I'm actually going to move the stick. Daisy, daisy, daisy. Good girl. I'm going to tap the leaves. Make this thing super exciting. What you got in your mouth? What you got in your mouth? Look at this. Look at this. I'm going to move it close to her. I'm going to move it away. Yeah, there you go. Good girl. That's okay. She wants to sniff something in the grass. That's all right. I'm going to pick this foot up. I'm going to bend that ankle. Good girl. Hi. Say hi. Say what a good puppy. I'm just going to kind of touch her all over. I'm going to rub my hand down her tail. Good girl. Because this is also important for a bath and for vet visits. Good girl. I'm going to bend that leg. Good girl. I'm just going to put it back down. Hey, Daisy. She's trying to, she's starting to like strain on the leash just a touch. I'm going to show her this stick. Good. I'm going to show her something she wants. No, you don't want that anymore. Hey, Daisy. This is a treat. I'm gonna pet her, and then I'm gonna lift her little, I'm gonna lift her little lips up here. I'm gonna look at those teeth on that side. I'm gonna look at those teeth on that side. Good girl, good girl. And I'm gonna pet her. She's like, "Why are you sticking your fingers in my mouth? Just to make you tolerant. Good, just to make you tolerant." Yeah, I'm kind of rubbing underneath her collar. Yes, it feels good, doesn't it? Yes, we love neck rubs. Yes. Oh my. Goodness, because we always want her to associate a hand with a positive experience. Good, 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 good. Also, don't ever scold her with her name. If you were going to scold her for something, you know, I mean, like chewing on furniture or whatever, you catch her chewing on something she's not supposed to, give her a really stern no. Don't use her name because you don't want her to associate her name with something that is unpleasant. Because anytime you call her, you want her to think, oh, when they call me to them, something good is going to happen. I'm going to get a treat. I'm going to have a toy. We're going to play. Whatever. Hi. I'm going to get, I'm going to get some affection. It's a good girl. Because so, really, our ultimate goal is to fade out treats. Good girl. Come on, Daisy. Good girl. Our ultimate goal is to fade out treats for pets and verbal praise. And, you know, I always keep treats in my bag. And if my dog's acting really, really good, I'll pop some treats in their mouth. Or if they're really struggling to, like, pay attention, I'm going to go potty. If we're doing a warm-up or cooling down, whatever, um, I like to do a lot of at-liberty work. Which means that, you know, this would be good girl. This would be at-liberty on leash. Good girl, Daisy. Good pee pee. And, you know, I do out liberty on leash when we're in like a park because there are leash laws in North Carolina. But, like, you know, doing off leash stuff in the backyard. Good girl, y'all have an invisible fence. And that way, she is not dependent. <laughs> what you got here? You got my leash? No, you got the leaf that's on the leash, and you coincidentally also have the leash. Give me this. Give me this. So, I'm going to stop moving. Because if I keep moving, she'll keep moving. I'm going to shorten up on this leash. Because this is not a chew toy. I'm going to get the clasp. Hold it. Good.
Now I'm going to release tension. Good. Good. See how she calmed down just a little bit? She wants to strain on me. You want to strain on me? Dang it. Ah. Good. The good old grandma eh, 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 is generally how I correct my dogs. If they're doing something that is particularly not a pleasant thing for them to be doing. Like I said, one of my dogs used to absolutely love really, come on Daisy, really expensive socks and shoes. And you know, I give him a really firm no and the good old finger shake. Um, and you know, the mama's mad eyes. <laughs> my dogs all know that when mom says stop doing something, it means absolutely quit doing it. And that's obviously not because I beat my dogs or anything. But it's because they know that not doing what I'm asking them to do is going to result in a consequence that probably makes them work harder than they want to. So like I said, and you know, that consequence could be if she's jumping, we're going to walk away and we're going to make her jog just a little bit. We're not going to make her run because she's a puppy and that's bad on her joints. Daisy, let's walk. Good girl. But the consequence for not paying attention, I'm going to make you work a little bit harder. I'm going to make you move a little bit faster. Come on. Come on. Consequence for eating a sock. I mean, really, it's my fault that the sock was on the ground. But the consequence there, I give you an eh, eh, and a firm finger shake, you know. And then I make sure I keep my socks off the ground. Because we always want to set our dogs up for success. Come on. Good girl. 99.9% .9 of the time, if there is a failure in training, you know what I'm saying? Like, if a dog is not cooperating, the dog is not doing what we're asking, that's on us. Good girl. Because they don't know. They don't speak English. Your dog doesn't speak English. They can't communicate with you the way another human can. Good girl. We have to show them what we want. We have to build that willing cooperation with them. If they are not willing to cooperate, we need to take it a step back. We need to make the exercises easier. Good girl. She's incredibly intelligent. But like I said last time, you want to make a dog think. You don't want to overwork their brain because they will get frustrated and they will quit. Come on, Daisy. Good girl. She's so good, though. She's very, very smart.